Hey guys, how goes it? Today we are working on a few different projects. Blue is making uh, upper cabinets for our kitchen. I believe we're just doing them uh, over the counters and then like above where our fridge and pantry go. <laughs> What exactly are you doing? Well, right now I'm trying to cut out a template for the sides of the upper cabinets. And uh, seeing as I don't have a scroll saw, you know, it's got kind of a curve to it, I'm going to uh, cut it off on the table saw. So those who are interested in learning how to cut curves on a table saw, that's here's, your chance. Here's your chance. Here's your chance. So make sure you wear rubber eyewear. Just a bit of sanding and that's all there is to it. So how many of these do you have to cut out on the sod now? Uh, just the one. Use it as a template. That's the beauty of a template is you only have to do one. And then how are you making the other ones then? I'm just going to take a router and, like I said, use this as a template, set this on the board, and take a router and just hmm. cut out the same profile. Nice. Yeah. Okay, right now I'll be lining it up to see where it needs to be sanded some more. We have a gap here, gap here, and gap here. So we just want to kind of mark where it needs to be sanded yet. How do you know where it needs to be sanded? Because the high points will hit the wall. There's my template all cut out, all nice and perfect. So it's going to be an exact replica after we're done cutting it. Well, if you noticed or not, but I actually mounted a router table on the side of my table saw.
getting ready to uh, mount it. Got these angle brackets here, one inch by one inch, to help hold it. This, my friends, is for well, the refrigerator. Pretty much built the exact same, so we won't get into details on that. It's just a little bit deeper, a little bit shorter. And a little bit more putzing around. Mm -hmm. 